And right now, more breaking news on the ChatGPT front. Let's get straight to Mackenzie Sigalos with the details. Mac? Hey, Kelly. So OpenAI has just unveiled GBT 5.2, which it's billing as its most advanced frontier model yet for everyday professional use. Better are things like long, multi-step tasks, such as coding, spreadsheets, document analysis, with far fewer hallucinations, according to the engineers who built it. Now, it's rolling out both in the consumer chatbot and via the API for enterprise customers. It also lands, as you said, on the same day as a new billion-dollar investment and Sora content deal with Disney. Fiji Simo, one of OpenAI's high-profile hires out of Meta, told a small group of us a short time ago that this recently declared Code Red is actually a normal part of the company's playbook, essentially marshalling resources around one key priority. Simo said that this release has been months in the making. But I will say this, Kelly, under the hood, Code Red, this new phase of the company, looks more like incremental tune-ups than moonshot bets. GBT 5.2 is a faster, smarter update but it's not GBT-6, and it's not the kind of step change that we saw with Google's Gemini 3. It's also not immediately obvious how a billion dollars and a couple hundred Disney characters in Sora really changed that core model race that it is fighting against Google. But Altman actually made the case on our air this morning that the real bet here is on owning more of the stack, including an in-house AI chip that he says should drive down the cost per token. That's currently our best proxy for what it costs to run these models. Kelly? What else would you add, uh, Mackenzie? I, I just logged on to see if I can use 5.2, and I don't see it yet. Um, I also noted that I thought Sam's energy, maybe I'm reading too much into this, but was a little flat in his interview earlier today. I mean, these are the two big announcements that they've made since declaring this code red last uh, Monday in that internal memo. And we're seeing a, a $1 billion equity investment, which is a drop in the bucket compared to the $1.4 trillion worth of compute commitments that Sam Altman made. And then we're seeing an incremental uh, update to the model. Now, they say that this does still beat Gemini 3 on some of those key benchmarking tests, especially where agentic uh, AI capabilities are concerned. But people are looking for something bigger. This is their 10-year anniversary today, and they've certainly come a long way since those roots as a, as a scrappy research lab. Um, but I think that I think that people are looking for more on the product front. And what I will say with Sora is that this is still a gated experience. It is very expensive to run, something that Sam Altman was asked about on our air this morning, and he made the point that it's a freemium model. People will pay for the kind of video generation that this new partnership will lead to. But keep in mind, Kelly, this is not an exclusive deal. Uh, Bob Iger teased at the fact that only one of the three-year commitment that this IP content deal entails will actually be exclusive to OpenAI. So there's a question as to whether other players like Google might ultimately strike a deal with them. Yes, they're at the cease and desist phase right now, but that could lend itself to a formal partnership.